Hello Virgo, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot and I'm here I'm to do your bi-weekly reading for the week of 9, 4 through 9, 18, 2017. The cards I am using today, oops, okay, the cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check out the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, make sure to check your full um, mm, sun, moon, and rising signs and let's get this show on the road. Alright? What's going on for the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, love reading. 9... 4 through 9, 18, 2017, Virgo, 9, 4. Okay. So, you're not seeing things for what they are. Okay, so that's been like all of the uh, earth signs today. Y'all trying. I think y'all looking at past events and assuming that they're like the people who are, who you're dealing with now. I guess it's like trigger things that they're doing is making you feel like, oh, that person ain't no good. But it's not right. It's not right for that person. That's not them. All right. What's going on for the Virgo? Virgo 9, 4 through 9, 18. Love reading 2017. Love reading 9, 4 through 9, 18. Okay. All right, so this is basically saying you just found something that you needed. So, you're where you're supposed to be. Okay, this is saying you see something that you need to see, but you're not looking at it for what it is, you know? You're not trying to look at it for, for what it is. You're trying to make it into something else. There it is again. So it's like in the near future, you're going to try to actualize what, what's really going on. All right, what is this? All right, let me get a card for this mirror. What What is this mirror talking about for the Taurus? I mean, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What is this mirror talking about for the Virgo? Mm. Somebody's trying to act like that they're not fertile or not pregnant, or they're trying to make somebody else believe that they're not. Okay. All right, what is this reflection? What is this actualization? Mm. Okay, so it's like, oh, this makes me feel like somebody trying to sneak and get pregnant, okay? And it's like somebody's actualizing that this man is arrogant and strong and, you know, I think a little bit of an a-hole, but it's like, they, I feel like this is already done. I feel like somebody already then got pregnant, or if not, it's gonna happen pretty soon by this this person that they didn't realize how arrogant they were. It was just like this was the lovey dovey stage, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get pregnant by this person, and then now it's just like after it's there, you're like, I can't believe I got pregnant by this person, and now this person is turning into a a d head. If you know what I mean, okay? All right, so, ooh. It seems like somebody been warning you over and over and over about this situation. Like, do you really want to do that? Do you really think that's a good, good idea? Wow. Huh. Okay. So it seems like he left you and that's when this got arrogant. Or it could be the other way around. Jenna Reed and she left you, whatever the place is. But somebody felt like they found what they want. Somebody end up getting pregnant by this person. Then they start pregnant or impregnating this person. And then this person's true colors start coming out. And then people start telling you, I told you not to do this. Because I told you they were going to leave you, but you didn't listen. Okay? Or I told you you was going to leave them. All right, so it was some unseen events that caused this um, freedom, this person to leave. And it's an X. They left you for X, even though. All right, so that one just flipped right out. So um, 
I feel like some of the people just moved away. Like, just gone. They just, like, gone. And you have no idea why they left. You're just like, damn, they just gonna leave me like that? But... Yeah, somebody, some of them moved away with an ex. And then some of them are just long distance. So I still want one for the unseen. All right, yeah, it's just basically saying it just wasn't a wise decision. I feel like he, uh, he or she left you for somebody else. And uh, that's it. But it seems like it's going to be better for the future for you. I just heard money. So I don't know. Maybe that's what's going to be good in the future. All right, what's going on for us? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, love reading. 9, 4 through 9, 18, 2017. Virgo, love reading. 9, 4 through 9. Mm. All right, so. Yeah, this person. This person might be beneath you in some kind of way. Or this person just got you acting outside yourself. And it seems like you're trying to get this person back. Mm -mm. All right, what's going on? Could be the other way around, too. I'm not going to... This don't stick to no side. It's either one side or the other. All right, yep. Somebody just dropped everything and left in the middle of the night. All right, what's going on for the love life of the Virgo? 9, 4 through 18, 2017. 9, 4, 18, 2017. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Mm. You might be dealing with a fire sign. Possibly. All right. So that could be like a negative message in the mail, or you're just not getting no kind of communication from this person. Woo. All right. So either you pouring out your love, like I'm done with this situation, or this person has sent you a nasty message telling you how they won't want to be with you anymore. Or you could have did this to somebody else. And I feel like whoever the one that took off on the trip or no, you didn't go on a trip. So this is you sending them nasty messages after they left. So this person, whoever got left is sending dirty messages. Okay. All right. Like I said, I read these straight out the book. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, okay. So it seems like you're sending dirty messages, but you're trying to recover what happened. So maybe you're just trying to say what the what 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 went wrong, what went on. But I don't know. All right. We got the eight of staffs reverse first. Eight of staffs. All right. It says envy, internal struggle, and a guilty guilty conscience. So, yeah. That would cause you not to talk, but, oh, yeah, that guilty conscience from getting this person pregnant or getting pregnant by somebody on purpose, that could be, that could set off some guilt. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Malice, Deceit, Confusion, and Counterproductive Change. So, yeah, you thought this was going to change for the better by getting pregnant or vice versa whatever way but it didn't everything just blew up everything just blew up all right knight of staffs knight of staffs and that's reverse severing of connection emotional and physical separation so yeah this person just dipped in the middle of the night like okay you're pregnant all right i'll see you in the morning and never coming back all right so We got the four. Okay, that's upright. Can't sleep. Um, need of time away from a negative situation, possible illness. So yeah, no, I mean pregnancy. That that'll keep you up at night, and that'll make you feel sick or doing somebody dirty like that. You know, it's like you're trying to figure out what's happening, and it's, it's affecting your emotions and your sleep. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your. Sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal read, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.